Good morning, everybody. It is nasty. Uh, I don't know if you can see with the headlights there, but it is 45 degrees and 7 degrees Celsius and pouring. Oh, uh, I'm going to get out of this rain. Oh, man. Come on, car. You can get to the door. All right, well, we're in the wide profile right now. I'm, I'm not sure, really, quality-wise, if there's much difference in any of the lenses. Probably just go back to standard D warp here by the day's end. Oh, I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like tonight, because we're supposed to do the Joy Through the Grove at Knoebels, either tonight or tomorrow. Oh. I mean... Rain won't stop this camera, so put the Action 5 back out, because I didn't want to get the pocket out in this crap. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I I, uh, I am fighting so hard with myself not to uh, try the cage with the filter, and I got on this morning, was looking at the KNF ones, and like the cheapest KNF, it's a 4 to 64, just like I have on the Sony is eighty nine dollars, but then newer, which is who makes the case or the cage, um, theirs is only sixty seven dollars. I don't know if there was any coupons on that or not. Might be, I don't know. But nonetheless, it's like, eh. Mike's telling me not to bother. It's not worth it. But it's like, part of me is sitting there going. <laughs> The problem with the one I have right now is that you have to specifically line it up over each lens. And I'm not sure exactly when Apple decided to move lenses around, but I'm pretty sure they did. I think the One X is at the bottom. The zoom is now at the top and no, the ultra wide is at the top and the zoom is the one over to the by itself. I could have swore that used to be the ultra wide lens back in the day. I maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But nonetheless. But yeah, it's it's got a single little spot and you gotta line it up specifically, whereas these guys now they make a magnetic one that just clips on and it and it just K and F does. Um it just clips over the entire rig and then you screw on and then you magnet the 67 millimeter over top of it um, so wouldn't need the cage but it's like mm, it's way cheaper I mean because 27 versus 107 for everything but the cages have a, a slight advantage with having the quarter 20s and all the and the cold shoes and whatnot so I don't I don't know it's just like I keep going back to the cages are case specific they're literally phone specific well I gotta stop just gotta stop and the uh it's funny because the RX Mark 7s they are way much more expensive than they were when I bought it originally they want like eighteen hundred dollars for them now. I think I paid like twelve or thirteen. It's like what in the hell? I don't know why they've gone up. Probably because they're. I'm assuming they're discontinued, but I think they're still on Sony's website. I don't know. It's just got to stop. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm trying to get stuff for limited use case scenarios, kind of like the drone. It's just such a limited case use. It's not something you're going to fly every day. It's not, I'm going to go out and take photos of, you know, streams and waterfalls every day. It'd be nice if that was my job. Then it would be justified, but, you know, kind of where I get, you know, the daily vlogs, the action in the pocket. That makes sense in my mind because I use them every day rainy day action's a better choice and nice weather day then you know either one's the choice so all right off to uh yeah <laughs> off to aldi world wow that was just memory of the past um 
six to one today, six to one thirty tomorrow. That's kind of a an unusual one for me. So either day is is fine for Knobles because I don't think it opens till like four or five o'clock when it's getting dark. But we'd want to get up there kind of on the early side because it it will get crowded, and you basically just drive through. You know, uh, I really rather not do in the pouring down rain because that kind of be distracting running the wipers the whole time. We'll I have to see what the weather's going to do. I don't remember which one of the two days was uh, less likely for rain, but that's what it is right now. It is coming down pretty strong. We need it. I mean, we do need it a l really bad. And like I said it's in the 40s. Now, home is saying 48, the car is saying 46, and the weather app saying 45 and 7. So it's somewhere in that ballpark. So we've gotten some milder temperatures going on here for this week. And then I think it's supposed to get back down again. If it was snow, we'd be buried. <laughs> I have that poor assistant on the camera so confused because I'm flipping through the different menus. I'm making sure the Evo was changed on the other setting. But I'm back into my standard D warp now. It is still a rainy mess out here and the same temperature as it was this morning. So nothing's really changed except it's now daylight. Sort of. I don't know what you're gonna, how much more you're going to see of us today because, I, I mean, unless this switches over, gets colder and switches over to snow like one report did say it could do, uh, I don't see puppy walks in this crap. So, and it's funny because ordered she wanted me to order ant, um, elk antlers or whatever they were for the dogs for christmas and uh <laughs> i only ordered one but apparently there were two in the bag <laughs> i'm like oh okay buy one get one cool <laughs> i'm gonna cancel the subscribe and save though because they're way too expensive for what they are oh I am, my back has been hurting all day. I meant to take some pain pills, so I'll try to remember when I get home. I finally did take my uh, Mucinex because my sinuses were just getting so bad. I think I skipped yesterday altogether, which is probably not a smart thing to do in this time of year. Oh boy, but yeah, it was, I was, I don't know, for some reason I was a little too hyper this morning. But I got here and my associate messaged me and said he was going to be late. <laughs> so I'm like, I messaged the manager. I was like, do I go in? Do I, you know. So after he got there and I had already decided that, you know what? Screw it. I'm going in. I'm going to start working. Basically did the clerical stuff so I wasn't like in danger. But basically been informed that I need to wait for them. But as soon as they see me in the parking lot, I get paid for it, regardless. So, I just have to make note every time that happens, because every morning it basically is going to happen. And I'm going to be there on time, and whoever's working with me won't be. I mean, if it's one or two minutes, I won't care, but if it's 15 and 20, I will. I'll just make it up on the backside. It gives me an extra couple minutes to stick around and finish something. Alrighty. Well, no Knobles tonight. We decided we're going to wait till tomorrow night for that. Tomorrow's my 6 to 1.30 shift. Uh, should have plenty of people, and it also is an EBT day, so that'll be exciting. At least the debit readers are up and working now. <clears throat> it only took them a couple hours the first day to get them to uh, be functional. I, tighten some, I think I got one thing too tight and something else too loose. But anyway, yeah. It is just a rainy, dreary, froggy day. Uh, we need it. I know we need it. Just, and honestly, there's really nowhere need to go. Oh, and Terry did answer the uh, my question whether or not um, that one house I keep going by the park, 
you know, if they're decorating or not. No, they moved over by my sister because they lit up over there and my brother-in-law is livid about it because there's so much traffic coming around the road all night long to see the house. So we'll have to head over that way. I'll have to be one of the uh, nuisance. Ugh. All right, well, so much for going back home. I have to run all the way back and drop off the curbside phone. I forgot I had it on me because it hasn't gone off in a long time. <laughs> God, what a day. The other associate dropped it in the parking lot, and now I'm taking it home with me. <laughs> I'm like, why is he calling me? I'm like so close to home. Boy, I tell you what, the fire uh, company has been pretty busy the last couple of days. People's furnaces are probably uh, malfunctioning. Chimney fires. Of course, with the rain, could be accidents too. But some pretty decent puddles. Hydroplaning is not a typical thing to do. Good evening, everybody. Oh, why is my... I guess I can pause in ProRes 4K. Okay, I didn't think you could. Oh, you can't see screen grabs. Anyway, Moon is trying to come out. And I got no flat. There we go. First time we've been out in almost two days. <laughs> Did you go pee? I couldn't see I was filming the moon. Oh, it's kind of been a chillaxing night because it's been pouring until a little bit ago. But now it's windy and dropping temperature-wise. Get a little turd out. Oh, well, it's just, yeah, it's just been a relaxing day, I guess. I did lay down for a little bit, but not a whole lot going on because the weather. Come on, let's go. You got to go poopies. Ooh, trying to be, trying to be ultra careful because I don't have a case on my phone. So just trying not to drop it. <laughs> I like to take it off when I'm home. That way I can actually see my phone and I can clean it off because cases get dirty pretty easy. So, alrighty guys, I'm going to take him for a little walk to go number two and I will catch you guys in the morning. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the morning as always. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, thumb up and comment. Have a good night. Stay safe.